Hey guys, what's up? It's Jay. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, out here today testing the Newport Vessels NK180S and we've got that paired up with the Bio NO Power uh, 24 volt 50 amp battery and you know the name of the game today this is going to be a really hard video uh, for me to do because I don't get to fish. Um, but we're just going to run this motor out here. I'm going to try to do 100% power uh, the, the full time uh, and just see how far can we go. Um, the, the great thing about these uh, electronics these days is they've got trip meters and so we'll reset the trip meter. We'll get maximum speed, total time, uh, distance traveled, uh, averages, all that good stuff. So the cool thing is the technology does all the work for us. But uh, I'm going to run this motor 100% wide open. I've got my Navionics on my phone so we'll do a track so you can see, uh, get an idea for how much ground I've covered. But um, that's the name of the game you know i hear all these different things uh you know this you can go this far it'll go this long well we're gonna find out i'm in a pro angler uh 14 it's the 360. i am going to take the drive out and put the cassette in just to save the wear on my drive with all that water pushing on it if i'm literally just going to be running around all day um and then that's it I, I don't have any rods or tackle with me so i am without my standard tournament load um, just for all you math geeks out there, the motor weighs just under 29 pounds. It's like 28.9 or something like that. Um, the, I'm sorry, that's the battery. The battery weighs 28.9 pounds and the motor, uh, the motor weighs like 14.7 pounds. So, uh, between motor and battery, you're looking at about 45 pounds, uh, just to give you guys an idea of the kind of weight that you're pushing. Um, it's a calm day. There's not very much wind out here, so I don't expect wind or current uh, to really be much of a factor. This is a small lake. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much the parameters of the day. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run this thing as much as I can. I'm going to run it 100% wide open uh, and just see, let's see what it does. So I'm probably going to piss everybody on the lake off today, but oh well. We're just going to go out and motor around and have a good time, I guess. Do some sightseeing. So, let's go. <laughs> All right guys, we are still going. Uh, two hours and 15 minutes, 11.1 miles. Um, been averaging 4.9 miles an hour. I've had to slow down a couple times just to take some turns. Uh, our top end speed so far has been 5.6. A uh, little bit of wind today, not much. You know, I've been going into it and with it at my back, so I kind of feel like that averages itself out. Um, I've got 24.5 volts left. Um, still rolling at 100% throttle, so 24.4 kind of bounces around a little bit, but uh, we got a little bit more to go. I don't know how much. Uh, like I said, two hours and 16 minutes on the trip log, uh, almost 11 and a half miles, so we still got a little bit more to go. Let's see how far we can go. <laughs> All right, guys, I just ran out of juice. Um, you know, I was running at 100% power and then it finally just got to where uh, if you tried to run it at 100, it would just stop. So the last little bit I was able to, uh, I was able to get the last just little bit out of it. I think I was running at like 30% and then it finally aired out uh, low voltage. So finally ran out. If you guessed 12.9 miles without going over, uh, whoever was the closest to that without going over wins a pair of Hobie 
polarized sunglasses uh, or Hobie eyewear rather. Uh, also the total ellipse time was like two hours and it's kind of changed on me now but I think it was I took a screenshot of it. It was two hours and 46 minutes. Um, so yeah, it, you know, that last little bit, my moving average kind of fell down a little bit. I think it was 4.7 miles an hour. Uh, maximum speed was 5.6. So yeah, that BioNO battery, that's a 24 volt, 50 amp battery. Uh, if you, I'm gonna put the link in the description. You can go check out these batteries for yourself. They have all kinds of different ones. Uh, 12 volts, 24 volts, 36 volts, uh, a lot of different sizes to fit your needs. Uh, J Wallen Fishing will actually get you 15% off. So uh, enjoy that discount. Please go through and uh, and check, check them out. I'm telling you, they make some really good batteries. Been taking care of me for a long time and we just put it to the test out here today and I'm pretty happy with the results. So I think, I think they speak for themselves. But uh, definitely a big fan of the BioNO batteries and uh, Newport Vessels. I mean, this motor, it just runs. You know what I mean? Uh, no issues whatsoever. No cavitation. It just runs perfectly smooth. I don't deal with the foot steering. I just do rudder steering. Uh, absolutely no trouble with that whatsoever. I think that's the easiest, uh, cleanest setup. And, you know, for me, I'm using this to get from point A to point B. I'm not really running current uh, or doing anything crazy with it. I'm just trying to get... Uh, from point A to point B a little bit faster and a little bit more efficient. But uh, definitely a big fan of this pairing uh, between the battery and the motor. I, I think for the weight, for the power, for the range, for everything you get, uh, it's just a nice, neat little package. So uh, really pleased with it. If you were to throttle back off of 100% and run it like 80, uh, you would get quite a few more miles uh, out, of this, out of this motor. Running 100% really drains it. And to be honest, the difference between 100% uh, and 80%, you're really not losing that much uh, on your speed. You know, your average is 4.9. If you throttled it back to 80%, you might get 4.6, 4.7. Really not that big of a difference uh, on speed, but you're going to gain uh, several miles uh, in total distance that you can travel. So uh, for me, for, for the weight, for the convenience, uh, this BioNO battery, this thing's a beast. Uh, this thing's a beast. Like I said, that's been running at 100% power, uh, pushing out about 460 watts, give or take. All right, guys, before we close the video out, got a little bit of housekeeping to take care of. This was a contest. Uh, I asked you guys in part one to make a guess on how far we could go on this motor uh, and how long we could go on this motor. So had a lot of good guesses. A lot of you guys were really, really close. Uh, some people went over by a lot. Uh, I think I saw one guy said 40 miles or something, man, I wish. Um, but no, a lot of you guys were really close and guessing the right numbers. Uh, fishing with Brian, uh, on YouTube. I'll, I'll reach out to you, Brian. I'll shoot you a message. He guessed 12.8 miles, uh, and our total was 12.9. So he was right on the money. Uh, Brian, you're going to go home with a pair of Hobie eyewear sunglasses. I'll send those to you. Uh, those guys have been really great for me. They have some awesome sunglasses. Uh, Andy Leonard on YouTube guessed two hours and 42 minutes. The actual lapse time was two hours and 46 minutes. So he was only off by four minutes. Andy, you're going home with a pair of Hobie eyewear sunglasses. Uh, so we'll get those sent out to you guys. I appreciate you guys watching. Had a lot of great comments. A lot of guys uh, really interacting with the videos. That, that helps me out a lot. And so I really appreciate it. I may go out and do another uh, follow-up video to this whenever I have time. Uh, I'd like to see how far that motor can go uh, at 80%. I think at 80% power, I think you're looking at, at well over 20 miles or, or maybe not well over, but I do think it, at 80% you get over 20 miles. Uh, I know when I first got it, I took it out and there was a day I put 17 on it and it still had more to go and I wasn't running wide open. So I really think we could hit that 20 mark. Uh, that may be a video if you guys uh, in the comments want to see me do a follow-up video and do 80% power, we can definitely do that. But um, yeah, guys, thank you so much, uh, Andy and Brian. 
you're going home with some Hobie eyewear sunglasses. I appreciate you guys playing. Uh, I'll message you guys and we'll we'll get these sunglasses out to you all. Um, if you if you're not familiar with Hobie polarized or Hobie eyewear. Uh, I've got a link in the description. I'll have a discount code there for you guys that you can use. Hobie Eyewear has been great for me. Uh, obviously, you know, they're, they're along with their kayaks. Um, so Hobie just comes natural to me. I, I, I love their stuff. A lot of different uh, lens options, a lot of different frame options. Uh, just, and they're affordable. You know, you're not going to go out and spend, you know, much over a hundred dollars they have a lot of good options for less than a hundred dollars for a quality pair of sunglasses uh, and these are fishing glasses my favorite lenses are the sight masters especially in in low light conditions when you're trying to look uh, for spawning fish it's march which you know some places the spawn's already going on down south so as the spawn gets closer go check out some of those uh, sight master lenses uh, from Hobie Eyewear. I think, I think you'll be impressed with what you get, especially for the price. But uh, thanks guys for watching and we'll catch you next time.